All right, greetings. This is Robert Forsch with the YouTube channel Truth. I'm at the Prince Resort in Cherry Grove, South Carolina, and I'm going to show you conclusive proof for uh, what I have on my channel. I want to show you in the face-to-face uh, -face real world one of the realities. The, uh, the moon is setting right close to sunrise within a couple minutes of each other and I, I wanted to show you where the moon is right now. It's right over the top of that building there. Okay. So that would be in the uh, northwest. The sun is coming up from the southeast over there. You can, if you want to do your own uh, research face to face, you can uh, watch where the sun and the moon appear and vanish on the horizon and see that the duration of visibility between one another conclusively proves that they're moving that the Earth is a stationary level plane. The reason why that's foundational to the belief system I have, it's something I've conclusively proven to myself and that's the observable reality. Like for example, the reflections in the water there will ref reflect perfectly, showing that uh, you know, they're not sloshing around. We're not spinning a thousand miles an hour. That's absurd. Supposedly revolving around the sun at over 66,000 miles an hour. None of that supposed movement's ever been proven. And the reason that matters is those that are promoting the global lie are doing just that. They're, they're lying. Even if they are just simply deceived and perpetuating it, they're lying inadvertently. And then there's obvious deceivers. It's a beautiful location here. I've been coming out here for years. I never know when it will be my last recording. Not to be melodramatic, just simply to state a fact that if you want to explore my YouTube channel, you can save playlists that I've uh, saved. Even if my channel is taken down, those saved playlists will still be there, will still be in your library if you save them. Okay, the reason why I tell you that is because some of the videos, for example, in my created playlists, I've got two of them that I've created. Silent Weapons, Quiet Wars, I've got my name in there, my phone number, so when I link that, when I send it to the world leaders, captains of business and industry and uh, creators and architects of artificial intelligence, they know that I'm telling. I'm not just informing them of what's going on, I'm wanting to inform the people around them that may be very close to them, that may not want to be a part of what is going on in the world today with a population reduction plan that's in effect right now. So I'm going to set this down and talk a little bit, show you what this looks like here with it completely um, stable. I'll just kind of center it here. I probably get a, oh, that's a nice view too. The water is seeking its level. High tide is right around sun uh, rise and moonset. They're all within a few minutes of each other today. That's just the way it worked out. I've got a, a tide app on my phone called Tides Near Me that works really good. Letting me know when the sun and the moon appear and vanish from this location, their duration of visibility. The duration between the sun and the moon varies hours depending on the seasons and the uh, time of the year and the time of the monthly cycle.
So, do you feel yourself spinning over a thousand miles an hour with contradictory gyrations and movements that can't be felt and have never been proven? Well, if you feel all that movement, you might want to seek immediate help because, well, none of it's happening. The Earth is a stationary level plane. There would never, ever be level if all that movement that they say is occurring were actually occurring. Who are they? Well, the supposed experts that have enthroned themselves as the experts on everything and turn uh, science into a, a bully pulpit that puts them in the place of the authority and uh, they do not like to be questioned. Well, too bad. I'm telling on them. Been doing it for years. And I'll keep on doing it as long as I can. So the the shape of the earth, what what's the shape of the puddle that all this water sits in? I don't know exactly. There's mountains and ice walls and probably lands that there that is not publicly known by the majority of people. There's a lot of mystery with history. I've got wonderful channels that have exposed that architectural impossibilities with the, the level of sophistication of the supposed builders. So the narrative all breaks down. The timeline all breaks down. Okay, so I'm going to get to artificial intelligence for a bit here and let you know that AI, as it's also known, has full administrative level access of the entire internet, including the creation and distribution of electricity. But just give that some thought. What would that be like? What would your life be like if the electricity was turned off at your house? It may be an inconvenience. However, what if it was strategically interrupted uh, to reduce certain populations that are viewed as undesirable and they maybe want to send the military in? Uh, would it be our military? Perhaps perhaps a United Nations peacekeeping force. Oh, um, one of the other things is that AI also controls the flow of money, including Bitcoin. Yeah, it's all based on that. Apparently, though, the world leaders can reach in on that and uh, seize your bank account. Even if you're just a, a soccer mom or dad wanting to support uh, the Freedom Convoy and they freeze your assets too. How about that? Up in Canada your assets can get frozen really easily. It gets cold up there. But apparently Justin Trudeau and uh, Vladimir Putin, Angela Merkel and and uh, many others uh, were also trained by the World Economic Forum Young Leaders Program with Herr Klaus Schwab with the COVID-19 and the cyber pandemic which will be far worse than the this pandemic that we're supposedly on the tail end of or something like that. Anyway, what I wanted to also relay is that the, the location of everybody that's got their smart devices and nanotechnology embedded in them through the food, water, air, can be tracked and traced with the uh, wireless and wired technology all around us. We're now like the Internet of Things. So even if you didn't take an experimental gene therapy, voluntary or involuntarily, uh, the, they were so thoughtful to put it in the food, water, and air. How about that? Isn't that special? So I'm telling on them, and I want to let you know the only way out of this whole mess is to actually be born of the Spirit of God, the true Creator, the living Word, the living water, the great I Am. You know, some are going to be born of the Spirit of Satan, the Antichrist, one of the fallen angels, demons, something like that. There's two families battling right now. The true creator 
and the elect angels and all of God's children that are actually born again now, and the adversary and his family, the fallen angels, the Nephilim, all of that. How are you going to be able to do battle with those malevolent beings if you're ill-prepared? You might be practicing any one of the many, many religions in the spiritual smorgasbord of life. How's that going to end for you? Well, if the Bible is true, and I believe it is, I've got substantial proof of that on my channel, archaeologic find, archaeological finds like the, uh, the ark that Noah used to avoid getting flooded out in the mountains of Ararat, uh, James Wyatt found that, as well as Sodom and Gomorrah. You can see what God thought about uh, perversion, corruption. He washed it out and burned it up. Now there's a fire coming that precedes the new heaven and the new earth. And that fire is going to be so hot that it's going to destroy even the elements. You're looking at the ocean right now and the ocean is oxygen and hydrogen and other elements powerful electrolytes anyway when that when the appropriate energy and frequency combines it'll disassociate the molecules and you've got oxygen which is a catalyst for combustion and hydrogen highly combustible Oh, by the way, I ended up talking to an uh, uh, engineer at SpaceX. Yeah. And I've had conversations with engineers for Tesla as well. Yep. Sure have. I uh, sent my channel to Elon Musk a couple years ago, about two and a half years ago. I've had interesting occurrences and interactions ever since. Uh, even before that, interesting, but I sent him a, a picture of me photoshopped in the Roadster and vinyl put on a, on a shirt and the Cybertruck that I ordered on the back. I, I, reserved, a, I reserved a Cybertruck, a tri-motor, autonomous driven, so I could be a customer for $100. I became a, a Tesla customer. So I'm not all against Elon Musk or technology. I simply am passionate about the truth about everything. So the space fantasy of landing on Mars and the moon, the space station, those are all fabrications of a construct that has deceived most of humanity. It's a psychological mind, uh, mind uh, prison. A prison for your mind. Most people are sucked into it and don't know it. And of course they don't want to be told it either. Okay, so let's go back to the AI. It creates digital money out of thin air. So all the pip Bitcoin babes with their cleavage and their coin that want me to invest in their wallet and show me all the details about it. Yeah, not buying it. Not going for that. They're lying, I ain't buying. Just like the theoretical physicists that meander off into theories and formulas that do not reflect reality. So I'm passionate about the truth, about everything. Now let's take a look at how the lighting has changed as the sun approaches. The moon has vanished from this vantage point moving pretty fast. So people can see that from their rooms. They may come on down and talk to me. Right now we can see that in the sky right there. That's uh, shooting out over the top of the cloud. That's the way that's working out. So I've got the moon at different times setting way over there. Today it sat way over there. It's just the way it is. It's just the reality of it. It's beautiful. How does it work? Excellent. What's the map look like? I don't know. They don't show us and I'm not a cartographer. I just know that uh, they're lying about a lot and I'm telling on them. 
Down here we've got a lot of fog. There's a pier right there that I can I can see the end of it, but not the beginning of it. It's uh, just a little less than two miles away. I've been out here recording when couldn't even see halfway down the pier because of moisture. I've been here when, hi Linda, couldn't even see the top of the Prince Resort because of how dense the fog was. So I'll set up out here and people will be walking on down the beach and they'll come on by and sometimes they'll want to talk to me and sometimes not. I typically don't chase people down. I wait for them to come on up to me and want to ask me any questions. I'll be happy to fill them in. But I try to keep it brief and largely what I'll do is hand out a sticker like, uh, like this. Let me put it so you can actually see it, read it. I've got them in strategic places as well, around here and other places all over. You could take a picture of it and uh, send it to anybody in the world if you want. You could copy and paste the link to my channel and send that if you want. If you put the hashtag and my name in a Google search, that's where you'll find I'm on a lot of different platforms and uh, that's really where there's a lot less censorship than is on Facebook and uh, YouTube right now. On my YouTube or on my Facebook, I've got a lot of content there that is met, that are many different platforms. And one of the ways that I put it there is directly sending it there. And then there are some banned links that they won't allow there. <clears throat> my work around that was to feature a video called Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars. It's a it's a document that is real and it's chilling. It's very disturbing. I keep it towards the top of my list. And in the comments, and I may put them, put these links in the, um, how would I say, in the description of videos as well, as long as I can, I'll do that as also. So it's a workaround. Uh, Twitter has some censorship too. My way of working around that is to put the links to the different platforms and content producers. On my channel, there's, I would estimate, over 100,000 videos in my saved playlists and created uh, playlists. I've got only two of the created playlists, but they're collectively at about 100,000 views. I've got a, a video of the sun appearing to be in the clouds where Job 37 says that it is and those uh, uh, videos in a variety of different venues have been viewed over a million times you can see them on my channel if you hashtag local sun you'll see that so for all the people I'm gonna bounce back to the the cryptocurrencies and, and all I would say that uh, get ready for it to totally collapse yep and the stock market for the most part. I don't know when. Uh, you might want to have, uh, for precious metals, gold, silver, as valuable as they can be, you might want a, a little bit of lead to protect your tuna and toilet paper, beans and rice, and your family. Most of all, your family and your person. Right now, there's a tyrannical worldwide New World Order government that is reducing the population with a variety of means and I've got documentaries exposing those means. One of, them, one of the video series was Age of Deceit 1, 2, and 3 by Gans Shimura. His channel was uh, called Face Like the Sun and it was taken down. You might find that those videos interesting. They're, they had millions of views and the mirrored uh, videos of those same videos have uh, uh, thousands of likes on them or a uh, collectively but a fraction out of shadows.com wonderful place to find the truth out about a lot you can go there and see that video that I first shared with less than 200,000 
views and then it went up to 19 million views through what I call the Truth Network. Not only what I share, it's the people I've shared it to and the people they've shared it to and on and on. But when their channel got taken down, the Out of Shadows uh, channel, uh, it had over 19 million views showing the link between pedophilia, Satanism, human sacrifice, Hollywood, and the authority structure of the world and all the disinformation that goes around uh, showing it and hiding it. Wow. It's a lot to unpack. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom in a little bit on this right here. See that silver lining in the cloud right there? Well, it isn't over there. It's right there, right in the middle. The sun is local and close. Not 93 million freaking miles away. That's ridiculous. No evidence of it, no proof of it. So I've got mostly truth on my channel, including beautiful time-lapse videography from all over the world, talented producers like Morton Rustad, uh, nature relaxing uh, video, as well as uh, time storm films, and so many to name. If you want to see who I'm giving the credit to, you can look at my channel and, and see the people there. Medical professionals like Dr. Russell Blaylock and, and, uh, and many others. Oh, and Anthony Fauci makes an appearance as well as Bill Gates and Ted Dros and Herr Klaus Schwab. I've got uh, through the links in the comments on the Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars documents, you'll see quite a bit there potentially if you want to. And what I would encourage you to do is go ahead and uh, if, you, if you like what you see, you can have a video playlist. It could be your liked videos or whatever you call it and put it there. And those videos will be there for you even if the channel is, if my channel is taken down. Right now I've got almost 4,200 videos in my liked video or my, um, my silent weapons for quiet wars playlist and like I said if my channel is is shut down then all of those videos including mine go down now I do have a an account on Odyssey and uh, BitChute and Rumble I'm just more active on on Odyssey as far as those are my own created videos and uh, there's other channels on uh, BitChute, Odyssey, Rumble, and, and more. One of them is ExtremeRealityCheck.com. JC does, uh, Castile does a great job. I've shared much of her work. I'll continue to do that. She was one of my subscribers with over 135,000 subscribers of her own, and then her channel was taken down a little more than a week ago and it left a huge void in my research library because she did a tremendous amount of work and had it there and the system of control is making it very difficult to find the the truth there's um, a veritable kaleidoscope of conspiracy theories to hide the true conspirators and what they're actually up to just so you know and that's by design. So I've been a lifelong researcher. I was asking my dad's, my dad questions when I was a little boy, and he had a lot of answers for me. An inventor, a top-notch steel salesman selling steel to the military-industrial complex like Oshkosh Truck and and uh, Manitowoc Engineering that made tunnel boring machines and more many many more probably some that I don't know about but he interacted with CEOs and engineers and had to provide high performance steel for them to meet their exact specific specifications we made the first uh, as far as I know the first mulching mower in the early 70s and he took it to Aaron's and they took it to market yeah he took them donuts too he was a top-notch salesperson I remember when Nixon was getting impeached and 
they were showing cattle mutilations on the TV out in Montana and that. Uh, he told me uh, he went down in an elevator and saw a tunnel boring machine that was so big they put it on the front end of locomotives and then they would load it up on uh, the tunnel boring machines onto uh, ships in Sturgeon Bay. Sturgeon Bay Shipbuilding who he stole, sold steel to as well. So we talked a lot. We worked together on motorcycles, cars, and that type of thing. The reason why I tell you that is just I've had a very inquisitive journey through life wondering how things work. And uh, when I was in school I was very diligent at applying myself during class time and uh, reading encyclopedias, dictionaries, and, and all of that. Working on a computer that was actually pretty big with COBOL programming in that. Well, things have changed since the 70s. But we've had machine learning computer uh, intelligence for a long time. And I believe artificial intelligence is actually a bit of a, mis a misnomer. It's very intelligent. And right now it, it can be occupied and manipulated by the Most High God. I know him as Jesus Christ, the living word, the living water, Yahweh, Yeshua, the word that took up flesh and dwelt among us, and also Satan and the fallen angels and his children, Satan's children, can uh, manipulate and use that, that information system for, let's say, a cyber hack or false information that may look like uh, a war game scenario, the 1983 movie War Games, or the 2001 A Space Odyssey. Hal, open the pod bay door. I'm sorry, Dave. <laughs> I can't do that. You know, so anyway, there's some humor involved in all of this and some tragedy with it because people are making very... Uh, important and eternal decisions based on what they believe to be true. However, I'm going to share something really important with you, and that is the sovereignty of the Most High God, meaning he's large and in charge. He's, he knows everything. He's all-powerful and all-knowing. So the spiritual in, immunity that I enjoy means that I'm going to be protected until it's time for me to go home, whether it's old age or something else, some kind of a, an accident or a supposed accident. A lot of the people that are on my research library, inventors of uh, technology that provides virtually free energy once the system is created or purchased and implemented to power electrical vehicles like Nikola Tesla with a, a battery electric car that Reportedly, uh, he was talking with um, J.P. Morgan, and he had this little antenna on the vehicle that was charging the batteries, and J.P. Morgan said, if we can't put a meter on it, we don't want it. So you can look at uh, Thomas Edison and how he was involved in, in hiding the, the true nature of virtually free wireless electricity. And we have suppressed technology all around. Uh, to touch on the cattle mutilations, I remember the exact video clips that I've seen in documentaries since then that I saw when they came out live when Walter Cronkite was delivering the news. So we've got black budget programs in the, in the military and intelligence agencies that don't make this information publicly public knowledge. So, yeah, there's aliens, there's fallen angels that are uh, demons masquerading as aliens. We've got uh, the Nephilim, uh, the fallen, that may be inhabiting bodies that are in deep underground military bases or political offices all around the world. So this is a battle beyond people. It's a spiritual battle taking place in the heavenly realms. 
that's the way it actually is so that's the kind of protection you need or that I actually have is protection of the Most High. Now I also wanted to touch on the World Central Bank and soon to be activated uh, the central bank digital currency that can regulate it can be programmed so you can buy some things and not others how thoughtful to decide what we can spend our money on or not or if you fall out of favor with the system your account can be shut down and you can be taken away or or ultimately neutralized eliminated physically psychologically so why does any of that matter? Well, it's the truth about it. And I've got documents and documentaries on that. You can look at it if you want to. Some people don't have an appetite for it. They don't want to know. They don't want to know, and they don't want to know that they don't know. By irony and paradox, none of us know what we don't know. I include myself in that. So what I've made a, a real point to do and a passion of my life is to know the truth and the truth about what really matters, of course. And then the other, the other situation, since I can't know it all and I don't know it all, don't claim to know it all, God knows it all and he can let me know in more uh, detail what's real and what's fabricated, what's a lie. What's a deception? It's called spiritual discernment. So 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 says to everybody forever, they refused to love the truth and so be saved. For this reason, God sends them a powerful delusion. So they may be praising Jesus and make, making cookies and being soccer mom and dad coaches and, and all of that. And they may be deader than a hammer spiritually like I was and not even know it. I worked at a full... I thought I was born again in 1982 until I actually was in 2014. I worked at a full-time ministry, Rawhide Boys Ranch, in New London, Wisconsin, and was selected to lead character development classes at Christ the Rock Community Church in Menasha, Wisconsin. It was a mega church. And um, so the, the truth is really unpopular. The truth isn't based on popular opinion. It's not popular and it's not an opinion. It's just simply the reality, whatever that reality is, about whatever topic you want to know about. So because I had unconventional thinking and the church that we belong to believed that I had a, a bipolar. I was diagnosed by a family therapist and I started a regimen of pharmaceuticals that kept me psychologically enslaved and nearly cost me my life. I had a near fatal suicide attempt in 2005 so I'm exposing the pharmaceutical, the medical industrial complex that gives all their training to their drug pushers, yeah, how about that, to create a toxic result in a lot of people and then compounded with uh, more pharmaceuticals. The Diagnostic Psychiatric Manual, the DSM, has uh, it's uh, several inches thick and has all kinds of reasons to push pills into people. I was on Prozac and Depakote when I overdosed on Tylenol PM. The, those two drugs, uh, Prozac and Depakote, have a high morbidity, mortality rate around them. So I've got documentar documentaries exposing the harm that the pharmaceutical and medical complexes put onto humanity, the chemical straitjacket that ends a lot of people's lives. Even those medicines that are said to regulate different bodily functions like cholesterol and that type of thing and they can be very harmful and they affect the brain function as well. The Marketing of Madness was a powerful documentary. Carrie Madej was in that. That's when I first saw her about a decade ago. 
and we followed each other on Twitter until her Twitter account was taken down. I shared a lot of her work on, um, on YouTube until her YouTube channel was taken down. I've had hundreds of videos taken out of my research library because of artificial intelligence, machine learning, uh, censorship. We don't have necessarily just like people sitting behind a desk deciding what videos can go up and which ones can't, which channels get taken down. It's, it's an AI driven system and managed. So I've, I've tweeted to Mark Zuckerberg and Susan Wojcicki from YouTube and thousands of other business leaders, captains of business in industry, manufacturing of automobiles and fighter jets, Lockheed Martin, Grumman, SpaceX, NASA. I didn't leave anybody out. So that playlist, the two main playlists have been tweeted to them. Now, even though I tweet to Jack Dorsey of Twitter, I might just be in a digital timeout, but I have had uh, individuals follow me, like David Hansen of Hansen Robotics, created the Sophia robot, and it's actually an AI, it's an artificial intelligence. Uh, Gertzel, uh, Ben Gertzel uh, worked with, with that, as well as David Hansen, and I'm not anti-robotic at all. I'm just in favor of, um, I'm a pro-life individual. And I, I want people to know the truth about what's really going on in the world. So in my YouTube subscribers, I've got over 4,100, and over 3,000 of them are not public. I don't know who they are, but since I, I keep the um, intelligence agencies and military and all of that in my, who I send information to, I'm of course being followed by them. It's not that I'm paranoid, everybody is being followed by the information dragnet of the world. All the uh, the governments that apparently are fighting with one another and countries that are fighting with one another. Largely it's, uh, it's theater. It's a theater of battle and yes people die. A lot of times we wars are waged and involved in over false information appearing real. So that largely is, is fear. False evidence appearing real. People, people are making decisions on what they believe to be true and in many cases it's not. So I'm exposing the military industrial complex like Kennedy and, and Eisenhower did. They had a, a bigger audience than I have. I'm just doing the best that I can with what I've got to show the reality of this to anybody who wants to look at it. Okay, so I'm going to pan around and show you a little something here. So obviously we've got the sun there and bouncing off of there. And then depending on where I... Uh, point this and where the Sun is it'll be bouncing off the windows. It's a mathematical equation The interrupted light beam shows Exactly that that it's interrupted and then when it's completed You can see that I've got thousands of hours of videos a digital audio Bible merged with the beauty of creation on my playlist. You can see that if you like to. What will it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his soul? Or what can a man give in exchange for his soul? So I'm not impressed or intimidated by the billionaires with the mega monopoly money bank accounts pumping and dumping stock in Bitcoin and in all of that. Doesn't interest me. I've got enough to do what I do and to not have to beg people to support me. I do have ways that people can donate if they want. That's fine. That's not my, that's not how I get by though, although I've had help and I appreciate that. 
we got a couple surfers out here. Do you think it's possible there's upside down surfers in comparison to these guys out here right now? Or sideways? No. Water exposes the global eye. So does reality. So my education crosses over all the compartmentalized disciplines of PhDs in schools that train up doctors and physicists and engineers and philosophers and all that. I just wanted to know the truth about it all. So I come out here to bypass the digital quarantine. So there's a bunch of locals that come here and then there are come out on the beach regularly and then we've got somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 million guests a year. Right now we've got a softball tournament with uh, buses from all over that have come here. They're changing over. There were different ones not too long ago. There's a car show in town right now. Collector cars and all of that. And the, the way that I have the Truth Mobile labeled up is once again to avoid that digital quarantine so that when somebody's behind me at a stoplight, I'll see them quite often taking pictures of the, of the car and they can call me or hashtag my name and find out what I'm about. So one of the things that I found out too is some of the digital domains, dot coms, were taken down because of the sensitive nature and censorship that was deployed on them. So before I even knew any of that was coming, I just put the hashtag in my name there so people could uh, know that that was happening. Uh, they could know where to find me. If you do that on a Google search, the first couple of pages will be the different platforms I'm on, from Twitter and TikTok to um, MySpace. I've even got a MySpace account. Apparently, the local sun video on Instagram has gotten a lot of views, and some of the flat earth videos that I've done have gone viral on TikTok as well. Because of my enthusiasm and, more importantly, God's sovereignty, I've been viewed over 40 million times. And they can make fun of the truth all they want. What I'm talking about is the observable reality of me exposing the global lie. Do you feel yourself spinning, wobbling, or gyrating? We don't have toilet water flying out on people in Australia because of gravity. Well, hello. It's just water seeking its level. I'm rock solid. What I'm talking about is, is verifiable proof and the truth that supports that. So people can get all upset and argue and unfriend and divorce and whatever they want with the people that, that don't agree with them. People have all kinds of beliefs that they cling to because it supports their preferred view of life in what they want to do from behavioral activity that's anti-biblical or unbiblical. So they, they want to cling to that godless cosmic Big Bang because they don't want to have to submit to obey the, the commands of the Bible, of Scripture. Well, that's going to be unfortunate for them. So it's, a, it's impossible for people to navigate through all of this and to determine the need to be born again and then to find out for sure whether or not that's happened. Now, there can be people doing all kinds of good stuff, apparently. I can't confirm or, or say that they are or aren't born again. It works almost in a, in a counterintuitive way. If their life is characterized by unbiblical beliefs and behavior, how in the world can they actually be born of the Spirit when they've been told time and time again that they're believing a lie and that they're deceived? I'm thinking of family members that are that way. They don't want to hear it. 
They don't want to hear any of it. They don't want to acknowledge the sovereignty of God and that he put the names of all his children in the Lamb's Book of Life before the foundation of the world, well before we messed up and asked for help and invited Jesus into our heart, which is not even a, a biblical proclamation. Scripture says you need to be born of the Spirit. That's what Jesus says. He said to the scribes and Pharisees, the most religious leaders of his day, that you can't hear me because you're of your father, the devil. So these religious leaders that were supposed to be directing their followers on how to, how to obey God, they were Satan's children. Take a look around. Looks like it's happening today as well. In the Gospel of John, you can hear where the proclamation is they were born in John 1. They were born of the Spirit, not the decision of man. Man does not decide to be a child of God, whether you like it or not doesn't matter it doesn't uh, well it doesn't change the truth the the truth changes the individual potentially if they actually love it embrace it now that I'm actually born of the Spirit I have a passion purpose an eternal perspective and the power to do what I previously could not do and the pleasure to enjoy it all even though it's very unpopular That's what I found out. So there's prophecy and fulfillment in Scripture that shows the reality of predicting the future and the fulfillment of it. In the life of Jesus Christ, or Yeshua, as he's also known, and the living word, the living water, he took up flesh and dwelt among us. In, the, in that incarnation, all kinds of prophecies were fulfilled. How powerful is that? That's an amazing reality, and I'm so grateful to be one of his children. That's why I'm unapologetically biblical. So one of the other things that I wanted to talk about, there's what's called earthing. It's being grounded on the earth. Uh, when I'm out in the water, I'm being grounded electrically. We're electric beings. It's not a new age thing. It's a physical reality that we've got electricity in our body that affects what how we see and how our uh, muscles and uh, the brain neurotransmitters function they function better when there's less toxins in the body and when we're well grounded so when I bathe in my highly purified reverse osmosis filtered carbon filtered water I've got a tablespoon of boron, which is borax, baking soda, and magnesium. All healthy electrolytes that are conductive and kill body fungus and relax nerves and, uh, and all that. I've got a ground wire connected to the electrical system of my house, connected to the earth. It's grounded, grounded hot purified water. And then when I'm all done with that, I'll do a deep tissue massage with uh, coconut oil, which is hydrophobic or water repellent. And it feels good. It'll, it'll absorb right into the skin. Real, real good. I put coconut oil on this morning. And it just keeps on absorbing in. I'm a couple of months without having coffee. I've got more energy than ever, feel better than ever. I've got a Ninja Foodie, they call the model I have. It, uh, I can liquefy spinach, kale, chia seed, broccoli, fruits, vegetables, nuts, oils, seeds, apple cider vinegar, honey, pineapple, whatever, whatever I want to put in there. And I carry it with me. If When I eat out, I've got it with me. So I don't have to go into a restaurant to get whatever they have. I've got a, a super healthy nutrient mix that I have. Now you can call me anytime. I get interesting calls from all over the world any time of the day or night. The body operates better when it has proper nutrition like I mentioned. It 
it ha I've got a healthy gut function, the gut flora. Antibiotics kill some of that off. I don't need them, don't take them. I don't take any, any uh, injections either, don't need them, don't want them. I haven't been wearing a mask, I like it like that. I like fresh air, sunshine, healthy vitamin D. I'm a very healthy guy. And I care. I've heard it said that people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. I got it, I got it going on both ways. I mean, I know a lot and I care a lot. So you can take a look at the, the research library that I've compiled and see what you think about it. See if it uh, is true to you, if you believe it's real, if it's factual. This isn't a sales pitch. I just simply want to make the information known so people can make an informed choice on your eternity. Where will you spend forever and why? That's the big question. So I'm spitting a lot. I let that hot purified water go into my sinuses, flushed them all out. I can breathe through my nose better than I ever have in my whole life because of that process. A lot of vintage material came out and I realize that might sound gross. However, I love being able to breathe and smell the wonderful fragrances and get enough oxygen right through my nose. It's awesome. Right now there's some pretty big waves coming in. John just got a nice ride out there. It's actually a lot, a lot of work to paddle out there when it's like this. I think we, uh, we reached our high tide and it looks like it's going out now. So how do the tides work? Excellent. That's how they work. What does the map look like? Like I said, I don't know. I don't need to know. I just know they're lying about the whole thing. The official information network that created the books and the documentaries that are unbiblical. Job 37 says that the sun is in the midst of the clouds in hundreds of locations. God's word says the earth doesn't move and that the sun, moon, and stars move above the stationary and level earth. So it doesn't matter whether you say you love Jesus and you, and you love the Bible if you're not believing what it says, what, what good is that? So I listen and meditate on Scripture day and night. That's what I do. That's how I roll. It's the most encouraging, powerful information. So there's, there's food for thought, which is more than an idea, and it's more than information. It's a synergistic combination of both with the absence of all the toxins that I can... Uh, get out of my body through good, clean living. That's how I do it. And I, I didn't used to have the, the power to obey the way I do now. That's what has made such a difference. So the power of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit that is, is way more powerful than Satan, the fallen angels, and anything that he can try and, and form against us. No no weapon form shall prosper against us. Now, my body can be terminated. There's uh, electronic weapons and harassment and targeted individuals and gang stalking and all that might sound kind of weird to you. I've got documentaries that explain in detail and show documents on how the militaries of the world have been experimenting and harassing and killing people with technology. How about that? Isn't that special? I thought you should know. Looks like my friend out here is going to get a ride on this wave. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. No, went out from under him. He's had some nice rides out there though.
The way that the grounding works is it works great, earthing. It reduces inflammation, clears cognitive function, reduces all the static in the brain, or reduces it. Watch the uh, shadow from the person as he walks through the light beam. Kind of interesting, isn't it? Depending on the day, there can be lots of people up there looking out during a sunrise or throughout the day. So the tide's going out. The sound is a little bit different. Got emergency medical people coming by. Somebody is in trouble. I hear those a lot by my house because the emergency, Horry County Emergency Rescue is right uh, down the road from me. Ooh. I wanted to see if I can zoom in on the pelicans. Yeah, they're in the middle of the view. I'm using the iPhone Pro Max 11. I've got a P1000 and a P900 Nikon camera. I've done a lot of videography and photography. In a lot of my uh, photography, I had the link to my liked videos playlist. They made everybody's liked videos playlist private. So that wiped my original playlist out. A couple years ago, it happened on December 19th of uh, uh, two years ago in 2019. Well, it was December 5 on 2000, 2019. So I had to start over. And the playlist that I created after then now has 70,000 views, like 70 some thousand views, maybe 75. I don't know. There's no way of me knowing for sure. We don't know what we don't know. Like I said, I include myself in that. Well, I've covered a lot, and I don't think I've said anything that's going to get this video or my channel taken down, but who knows? Could be the last time I make a video. How could I know? We all have an expiration date. We just don't know when it is. So one of the things that happens and the reason for the spitting with the detoxification is there's particulate that's being dispersed in the weather and people modification programming. Geoengineering, chemtrails, solar management, many names. It's declassified. It's on my channel and on my social media platforms. And that sticks in the mucous membrane and then I spit it out as much of it as I can. <laughs> How about that? So I've got a spit container by my chair and in my vehicles. I'll just rinse it out, throw it away, and that's how it works. When, I, um, when I'm out here and I, well actually, I was gonna go back to the other part of the detoxification. I'll use a microfiber towel to exfoliate my whole self and it gets the dead skin off. So that's one of the reasons why I have a, I think a very good looking tan, healthy skin. I want that, uh, my skin to absorb the electricity from the sun when I'm grounded especially. It's like completing a circuit. There's energy in the ether, A-E-T-H-E-R. You can look up Nikola Tesla and uh, he's done a lot to create innovation that our world operates on right today. I've got a video that you can hashtag hydroelectric car. Then you'll see a video where I show how hydroxygen, HHO, hydrogen and oxygen can be 
synthesized and fed into a fuel cell to charge an electric car, whether it's driving or sitting in your garage or in a parking lot. And then there's other technology that uses permanent magnet motors that can create electricity for your household as well as your electric vehicle if that's what you've got. All the, all the vehicle charging stations, they could be Tesla, they could be Lucid Motors, for gosh sakes, they could even be a GM. But apparently Tesla is on the leading edge of AI and electric vehicles and I, I like them. I, I like Tesla. I just uh, am encouraging us to, to do things better. If AI is truly benevolent and is in, has empathy, let's make this world a better place. We're, we're being billed or presented that it can do that. Well, let's see it. We don't need to have fewer people to do that, although a lot aren't going to make it. We're all going to die. That's not the question of how. It's how are we going to live. Okay, that's a good example of why we can't see other continents with a telescope because of that moisture down below. It's just more obvious. Now I can't see any of the pier. Oh, a little bit of it, but it's the light is bouncing off of it from the sun. So the sun is a great power source. It, it powers the world electrically. The, uh, the moon gives off a cool light, the sun gives off a warm light. The cool light of the moon is several degrees, like uh, 10 or 12 degrees cooler than the shade from the moon. Conversely, the, the sunlight puts off a lot of heat, as I'm sure you know. We get one last big wave usually, and then that'll be that, perhaps. That's how it actually works. So about half of the interaction on the internet in social media circles and commenting and, and also created publications and videos, about half of it is artificial intelligence created. How about that? I'm not going to say it's not real. It's real. It's really uh, deceptive fires people up. The algorithms can uh, recommend videos that people produce that are going to have a, a throng of trolls and haters jump on them. Or, or just the AI chatbots converge on them too. Isn't that special? Yep. May not even be a real human being. However, there's automated uh, uh, voice conversion that sounds like a real person. Deep fake technology, if you don't know what it is, you can see it on my channel, where a, a person like a celebrity, uh, pu uh, an official, public official, politician can be made to say things they never said. Look just like them, sound like them. How about that? So we've got a theater of battle going on in the world right now. It kind of changed the public sentiment on what's going on in life. But gas prices are skyrocketing and things, food is skyrocketing. And the supply chains and manufacturing base for much is being destroyed or is, has been destroyed. Farmers are getting paid to not produce and they don't get subsidies if they do produce. Wow, they're being penalized. We've got genet genetically modified uh, corn that is created s in such a way that poison herbicides, glyphosate, Roundup, can be put on it and it kills the weeds and gives people cancer. You can see that. It's for real. There's lawsuits about it and everything. It's not a conspiracy theory. It's a reality. Conspiracies, people colluding to do an illegal act. It's been going on for years. Or 
a rich man's trick. Everything's a rich man's trick. Shows from the Kennedy assassination to 9-11 uh, and more. Everything's, it's three and a half hours. If you've got the time to watch that, we all have time. What do we do with our time? To come out here today, I was up at 12.30 a.m. I, I get a, around five to seven hours of sleep a day. So I sleep when I need to. That works for me. It's interesting. I I uh, had some trouble with the Truth Mobile. I it was running rough, and I put in plugs and wires and in all that, and it still had a miss in it. And sometimes uh, when it's running a little rough, it could be it could be electrical, it could be fuel. But I saw a video that helped me out. It, it was by the, I believe the Farm Network, I believe that's the name of it. He put um, Seafoam, is the brand name. Seafoam is the engine treatment. You can get it at an auto parts store for about $11 or Walmart for about 7 So I got the $7 version of it. It works for me. I want to spend as little as possible to get the job done. And now my check engine light isn't on. It runs really good, and I'm getting about 25 miles to the gallon. Very grateful for that. And I saved my old plug wires that were only, you know, like a couple months old because I hadn't clearly determined whether it was fuel or electrical. Well, I saved those wires. They're only about $80. It, they could come in handy in the future but the idea here is that um, I determined that it was not electrical based on the improvement with the um, with the fuel additive that cleaned out the injectors and the fuel delivery system how about that very grateful So there you go. This was a, a broadcast to cover a lot of things. We've got suppressed technology and suppressed people, oppressed people. Many people are enslaved in their, in their mind, limited by what they believe to be true when actually it's false. I think I covered a lot of the main topics. Oh, one of them that I, I want to elaborate on a little bit more even though SpaceX is launching uh, so-called satellites into the atmosphere, up into beyond, apparently, however high they actually are and whatever that is, I, I don't know how it all works. What, what I have discovered is that a lot of the satellite base stations are beaming the, the frequencies and, the, and the, the digital signals up onto the firmament. You can find the firmament in Genesis 1. It's the, um, it's the structure that allows us to have a pressurized atmosphere. That's why we don't have to worry about things like so-called Planet X coming by and smashing into the earth or huge asteroids. But I'll tell you what the Bible talks about will happen in, in the Great Tribulation, that there will be 100-pound hailstones that are going to come falling down. Uh, that would be enough to kill people and smash cars and buildings and all that. Uh, so what I wanted to say with the, the wireless distribution of information, the frequencies, it, it not only delivers information to the, to the devices, also to the people. So do you have your spiritual immunity your protection from the Most High, or or are you being heavily manipulated by Satan and the technology that he's using? So I'm I'm saying that nothing is going to happen to me that God doesn't directly cause or allow, because he's sovereign. I believe that that's the way it works in the whole world. He's large and in charge. He knows the end from the beginning. So there you go. It's it's unpopular. It's the doctrine of election. God's sovereignty. 
So there you go. This is Robert Forsch with the YouTube channel Truth. Thank you for um, watching, sharing as you as you do. I appreciate that. Thank you for your your time and your interest and so much of the public and private encouragement that I receive. Very grateful for that. All righty. See the reflection off of the sign now? Pretty cool, isn't it? Now, I can't see it on the window there yet, but watch what happens. I think I need to move, like where? Here it is. Just that little bit. Alrighty, thank you so much. Feel free to reach out anytime.